When I grew up, uh, well, as I grew up in Oakland Heights Methodist Church, all the men, the older men in the church, and even the younger men, um, were all very well respected in the community. Some of them owned their own business. Some were, you know, had years of experience in their in their careers. They were respected by their peers, everyone at church, and pretty much the community as a whole. And as I grew up in church watching those men, how they conducted themselves in church and in their business, I knew there was something special about them. And, you know, as you grow up, you, you have the, 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 the fatherly type figures that will take you under their wing. Looking at them, talking to them, every one of them was more than eager to encourage me to, you can do this, to help, help me any way that I could. And as I grew up, getting older, started asking and realizing that those men, the one thing that they had in common, besides they all went to the same church, were they were all masons and I, I knew that from hearing them talk and how they conducted themselves I knew that was something that the church was a great benefit or is a great benefit but they also got that little bit of extra from masonry and I knew that one day I was, I wanted that. After watching those men, yeah, I, I wanted that. I, as I grew up and became an adult, I kind of got away from that. And then, you know, your life events of getting married, raising kids, and I realized that there was wait a minute, I'd missed something. And wait, I remember, those guys were all Masons. And that's whenever I asked, what does it take for me to be a Mason? How can I get in there? And whenever I was initiated, I knew, you know, I, this was something that I asked myself, why did I wait so long? And Having missed out on several years, many years of that, I knew that after I come in, I wanted to explore that and progress as learn as much as I could.